Good morning, Missouri. I'm Brianna Stubber with your headlines. Activists would protest U.S. Representative Vicki Hartzler's meeting at the Stony Creek Hotel this morning. Representative Blaine Luke Meyer and his Hartzler are meeting with locals to discuss the current state of the financial services business. But the organization's director says people are upset over Hartzler's failure to host a town hall where citizens can meet with her for free. Then Missouri Peace Works and seven other groups will hold the demonstration at 930. The director says Hartzler, quote, has made public dialogue impossible. Sadly, all she'll get to do is read our signs and banners as she drives by. People were also upset that Senator Roy Blunt declined the invitation from organizer Como for Progress. In their absence last night, some Mid-Missourians voiced their concerns to some of Senator Claire McCaskill's staffers regarding the controversial health care law, what is in store, and how it will affect them. The town hall covered topics about Medicare and Medicaid and the future of Planned Parenthood, the group which helped organize the event. Both Blunt and Hartzler's offices have not returned our calls. Thanks for watching. The Today Show is next. Good morning, Missouri. I'm Brianna Stubler. Let's take a look at your Wednesday morning headlines. Two U.S. Congress members are in Columbia today to meet with local business members. U.S. Representatives Blaine Luke Meyer and Vicki Hartzler will be meeting at this Stony Creek Hotel. The pair will be discussing the current state of the financial services business as part of a roundtable hosted by both the Columbia and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Nearly 100 businesses are signed up to attend the forum. They'll get to hear from U.S. Congress members as well as Ted Quadman, one of several VPs at the U.S. Chamber. That group will discuss future legislation that could impact banks and credit unions in the financial services industry. One Chamber of Commerce leader said this event is a great for Missouri due to the state's high number of financial institutions. The forum runs from 10.30 to 11.30 this morning at the Stony Creek Hotel. Those interested can register for free on the Columbia Chamber of Commerce website. Thanks for watching. Today's show will be right back. Good morning, I'm Brianna Stubler. Vice President Mike Pence will meet with business leaders in St. Louis today. He plans to tour family-operated construction equipment company Thavit Cat and speak with employees. He'll also talk about America's economy and give formal remarks on the importance of job growth and cutting regulations. And Governor Eric Greitens will join Pence in St. Louis today. It's the second meeting in a month for the two Republicans. The governor is currently taking heat from Democrats over the request for expanded family leave. A proposed rule change would allow state employees to use sick leave for time off after a birth or adoption. However, last week, Greitens' administration said it wouldn't allow the changes because the governor has barred state agencies from creating new regulations. And today on KMU8 News at noon, the new Homeland Security Immigration Enforcement Plan. The Trump administration wants to hire 15,000 additional federal agents. Tune back in at noon on KMU8 News.